And we are back with the We Miss VX at Fantasy Basketball Tier List Ranking. In this episode, we're going to be covering the small forwards, so get your pad and pencil ready, plug in that GPS, and get ready because we just missed the exit. We're actually going to start from the C plus tier, and to start us off, I have Andrew Wiggins. A lot of people forget about him. His stats are pretty reliable. The problem is, is he going to be the number 2, 3, 4, or 5 option, and he doesn't provide a whole lot outside of points. Next, we have Michael Porter Jr. He's a solid number 3 option, and he's a decent rebounds for a small forward. Problem is, he only plays small forward. That's the only tag he's going to get. He's always hurt, and he has very inconsistent production. Also, we have Franz Wagner. He's supposed to be a shooting guard, small forward, power forward. He's a good contributor all around. He's probably the number 2 option on a weak Magic team. He's pretty reliable and healthy. Um, the problem is his stats are likely capped, and he's not going to be a source of crazy good awesome games. And to finish off my C plus tier, I have RJ Barrett. He's a shooting guard small forward. He's relatively reliable with his health, and he sometimes has crazy good games. Problem is, he's the most inconsistent player in the NBA. He goes through a lot of slumps, and he will be seeing a lot of competition for his position this year. B minus tier. For B minus tier, I have Chris Middleton starting it off. He's a small forward power forward. He usually has good stat line, and he does hit a ton of threes. Problem is, he can't really stay healthy. He didn't go back to who he was last season, and he's no longer the number two option on the Bucks. Next we have Keldon Johnson, who's a shooting guard small forward and he's the top scorer in San Antonio. Problem is, is he going to continue to be the top guy? And there's not much more outside of points. And to finish off being minus tier, we have Klay Thompson. He's a shooting guard small forward, he can go off on some crazy good games and he seems pretty healthy now. Problem is, is he going to lose touches due to Wiggins now becoming a pretty good option on Golden State? It also doesn't help that Chris Paul is there and who might take some touches from him, or it may help him. And he doesn't give you much outside of points and threes. On to B tier. To start off, I actually have Laurie Markin in here. He's a small forward power forward. He's a good source of points, rebounds, and threes. He's the go-to guy in Utah. Problem is, he cannot play a full season. He's not going to give you assists or defensive stats, and I think everybody overhypes him. I am, I, I'm not a big fan of him for fantasy. He's just way too unreliable with his health. Next, we have Ingram, who's pretty reliable with a bunch of his stats. He does hit a bunch of them, and he's also a shooting guard, small forward, power forward, and having those three tags is a good thing. Problem is, Williamson might actually be healthy for once, and also, he's never really played more than 70 games since his rookie year. And to finish off my B tier, I have DeRozan, who's relatively healthy now. He hits a lot of categories, and he's a shooting guard small forward. Problem is, he can't really hit threes as a shooting guard small forward, and how long can he keep up this production? My B plus tier. To start off B plus, I have Jimmy Buckets. He's a small forward power forward. He keeps getting better, and he fills up the box score. The problem is he's rarely healthy, he's more of a win first guy versus a stat me first kind of guy, and he has occasional low games, and he also can't hit threes. Up next is Bancaro, who's a small forward power forward. He's quite productive as a rookie and he's only really going to be competing with Wagner on the team. The problem is, can he improve or is he tapped out right where he is? He doesn't really provide much more outside of scoring and rebounds and he has poor field goal percentage for a power forward. Up next in B plus tier, I have Kawhi Leonard, who does get good stats across the board. He's reliable stats, and he's a shooting guard small forward. Problem is, he just won't play a full season moving forward. Again, up next right after him is his counterpart, Paul George. He's good stats across the board as well. Reliable stats, he's a shooting guard small forward power forward, so he gets three tags. Problem is also, he will not play a full season as well. Up next is Desmond Bain, who took a big step last year. He should start out strong with Morant being out. He's a shooting guard small forward. Problem is, was this like a big flash in the pan, or is this something that he can pretty much do all the time? Also, I think his upside is pretty capped at where he is. To finish up B plus tier, I have Josh Giddy here, and he's slotted actually for three positions now. Things have changed, and he's a shooting guard, small forward, power forward. He also does get good stats all around. Problem is, he's now the number three guy on the team, with Chet and SGA finally healthy. I have a bunch of my A minus tier, so let's start. We have Devin Booker, who continues to be productive. He can go off on big nights. He's pretty reliable with the stats, and he's a shooting guard, small forward. Problem is, he now has two big teammates who also need the ball, and he hasn't played 70 plus games in quite a few years. Up next is Jalen Brown, who continues to be productive. His stats are reliable each night, and he's a shooting guard small forward. Problem is, he's still the number two guy on the team. He hasn't played more than 70 plus games in a few years, and with the big news happening, there are now four people on Boston who need the ball. Up next is Kevin Durant. He's a small forward power forward. He can go off on those big nights. He still has a lot of strong production. Problem is, he's with Booker, and those two guys need the ball all the time, and he won't play a full season anymore. Up next, we have LeBron James, who plays small forward power forward. He fills up the stats. His stats are pretty reliable. He has occasional crazy good games. Problem is, he will not play more than 60 plus games, and he will get shut down if the Lakers start to do poorly. I've already covered Zach Levine, and he's pretty healthy recently. He will be the go-to guy in Chicago even more now, and the stats are pretty reliable. Problem is, he has no desire to win, he doesn't care about getting better, and he doesn't really have a lot of crazy good games. Also in A- tier is Mikael Bridges, who's a shooting guard small forward. 
He doesn't have a lot of competition for the ball. He's quite healthy and reliable. The problem is his stats are pretty capped where they are, and he rarely goes off in those crazy good games, and he doesn't provide a whole lot outside of points and threes. And to finish off my A- minus here, I have Kyle Kuzma, who's a small forward power forward, and he is only going to be competing with Poole to get stuff. He does fill up the stats quite well, and originally I said that most people forgot about him. Now, when I first wrote the script back in September, he was averaging and getting picked around 89th, now he's around 57th. So he might be somebody to keep on your radar. Problem is, he's not going to have any really good crazy stat games, and he has to compete with Poole, who's going to have the ball most of the time. On to my A tier. No one. Now on to my A plus tier. Start us off, we have Jason Tatum. He's a small forward, power forward. He has great health, he has reliable stats, and he hits all the stats in the box. Problem is, he is now competing with three other people for the ball. I also have Anthony Edwards in my A plus tier. He's a shooting guard, small forward. He's proven to be the main guy in mini. His stats are reliable each night. He doesn't really take time off. The problem is, Cat is still on the team, and Cat is very unreliable. And now for my S tier, no one, because that's where I had Jason Tatum. And to round it off, here are my honorable mentions. I have Bogdanovich, Matherin, Tobias Harris, Jalen Williams, Ananubi, Vassal, Hunter, Powell, Barnes, and Cam Johnson. Out of all these guys, I'd actually keep my eye on Ananobi and Barnes. So that's it for my small forward list. What do you think of the list? Where would you put them? How is your drafting going so far? Also keep an eye out for my power forward list, which should be coming out fairly soon. And then I'll finally break down the centers before the NBA season starts. This is Brent from We Miss the Exit, and good luck drafting. All right. Oh, there he is. Oh, so, so I lost the mosquito. I don't know where it is. 